Hi there everybody and welcome to today's video. Before we get started, first of all, what are your thoughts on the new background? It's kind of getting there at the moment, it's not 100% finished, but I'd like to know what you think, let me know in the comments below. Today I'm going to be doing a favourites video and if you don't know what that is, it's basically where I talk about all the things that I've enjoyed last month. And if you do enjoy this video, please do leave it a thumbs up so I know you like these videos and I'll try and make more of them. Let's go. First of all, we have my Air Force Ones. I literally bought these about a week ago, I've only had them on a few times and honestly, these are the lightest shoes I've ever felt. So these are like a new type of Air Force, I think these are kind of like a, they're called Ultra Forces or something like that, so they're a little bit different. They're a lot lighter to start off, they're also like made out of suede on the top here, which is really cool, and the colour on these is just, I just think it's such a nice colour, because it's really, really neutral. I have also relaced these, because I prefer my laces to look like this, like nice and straight, and they did come like cross-hatched, I think. One thing I do really love about these shoes is that they do give you like this extra inch of height here, and if you're like me, like I'm 5'7", like I'm not that short, but I'm kind of short, so it's always nice to have a little bit of added height with shoes. And the price for these was okay. These were £80. Um, shoes are kind of getting more expensive nowadays, um, so it's a very solid shoe and they should last for a little bit of time. The only issue with these shoes is that I can already tell from wearing them not too much that this is going to like lose its shape quite a lot, so maybe I'm going to have to get one of those holder things to put inside so it lasts quite a while. And here's a little clip in case you wanted to see how they look like on me. Next up, we have my Canon AE-1. If you didn't already know, I do quite a lot of photography, not professionally, but I like to take pictures basically. And I've always found when it comes to editing photos, I always try and make them look like I'm shooting on film, so I thought, do you know what, it's probably about time I just bought a film camera and shot on film. And as well, like, the quality this produces is amazing. The only issue I've found is that sometimes when you're, like, you're looking through the viewfinder and the focus is quite hard to gauge, like, sometimes it, it looks like it's in focus, but actually it's not. So it just takes a lot of getting used to, but honestly, amazing piece of kit. And here are a few of the photos that I took on the camera. I think they came out quite nice. It was my first ever roll of film on this camera. The next thing I want to talk about is my favourite app this month. One game I've been playing loads and loads recently is Best Fiends. I have been asked to mention this in this video, but honestly, I, I don't normally play many games on my phone, and you could got to trust me here, it is a good game. And you can even ask Stella or tweet her or whatever. Honestly, I've been playing this game so much. And the reason Best Fiends have asked me to speak about it in the video is because they have a special in-game currency being released tomorrow tomorrow on Mother's Day, which you can access by clicking the little love heart slash Mother's Day card in the game and that will take you all the way through. And if right now you've just gone, oh my god, I've made the biggest mistake in my life, I forgot it's Mother's Day, and that is because it's only Mother's Day in the US, Canada and Australia, so don't worry UK and Europe people, you're fine. Essentially in this app, your job is to kill the slugs and complete the achievements per round. You can also like unlock new characters and like get them better and more powerful so you can kill slugs easier and stuff like that. Um, but I think probably the easiest way to show you this game is by playing it and you can see it. So here we go. You can see in the top left it says the goals for this round. So I need to kill six slugs, I need to get two crates, and I need to get five diamonds. To kill the slug, first of all, you have to like get things in order. So it has to be three or more. And the more you get, the better the attack's going to be. And honestly, I've tried this level so many times and I can't seem to just do it, so maybe it'd be a better idea if I showed you a bit of an easier level, because I'm actually stuck on that one. I'm going to try and build up a massive yellow one, I think. Oh my days, I am going to get so many points for this one. Right, okay. Okay, there we go, look at that. Boom! Done. So that is Best Fiends. If you would like to download it, you can do so by going to the description of this video and you can click the link and it will download for free. Or you can head over to the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download it there. And now we come on to my favourite song this month. Uh, this was a really, really hard one for me because I listen to a lot of music. I have like monthly favourites on Spotify and stuff, which you can follow by there's, there's going to be something on screen here or in the description or something like that. But I do a lot of these Spotify playlists, so I always have like a lot of new music that I'm listening to. But I think my favourite song this month has to be A Prince by Georgia Smith. She released a song a couple of months ago called Blue Lights, which is how I discovered her. And then she recently brought out this song with Maverick Saber. And honestly, it is such an amazing song. Here is a little snippet of it. You know that your eyes and your smile are a weapon now come I've been really enjoying kind of simple like really bassy with vocally I, I don't know how to explain it um, I'm sure there's a really good word for it but I've been really enjoying that kind of style of music at the moment So next up I'm gonna be talking about another pair of shoes I didn't actually get these last month I got them the month before but I thought I'd mention them because I really love these shoes So these are my Adidas X Prime Knit shoes um, Honestly these shoes I've never really bought high tops before and stuff like that I never really thought I kind of suited them but these just stood out to me a lot. I honestly think they're such a nice shoe. And they're also really, really comfy because they kind of like support you here. And they also have like a really nice silhouette. I mean, from the front, they're not the prettiest shoe in the world. But from the side, I honestly think like, look at that. Just look at that. Another really cool thing about these shoes is that this X here is all 3M. So if you put a flash on it like this, 
which I think is quite a cool little gimmick with them. Um, but they're honestly, they're a really, really cool shoe. Um, and this is what they look like on. And the Jubilees came out at £100. And um, they're a really good shoe for kind of wearing all black outfits, I think. But yeah. And next up, we come on to my favourite book this month. I've actually just kind of started getting into reading a little bit, so there's not going to be books every month because it takes me quite a while to read a book. But, um, but it's been a book that I've really, really enjoyed, and I think it's a very informative and, like, good book to have read. Um, and this is Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig. Haig? I could be wrong. But I saw Dil... Dil Barbershire? <laughs> Dil Barbershire? I saw Will Derbyshire um, tweet about this book, and I thought, yo, I'm going to try and read this book. And it's a really good read if you either know someone or yourself are going through depression or anxiety, or just want to, like, brush up your knowledge on that kind of stuff. It's also a great book if, like me, you're not very fast at reading. It's such an easy read, and it, like, it just it flows so smoothly, and there's no, like, big scary words in there that you get confused by. Um, so that's really cool as well. And that is it for my favourites video. I really do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do leave a thumbs up as it lets me know. Also, let's have a chat in the comments down below. Let me know your April favourites or what you thought of mine and we can just discuss. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Goodbye.